guys and welcome back to a brand new video today here on Codename Pizza. Today we have got an awesome video for you guys to enjoy and this is going to be counting down the top 5 forgotten easter eggs inside of Call of Duty Zombies episode number 3. That's right, we've got another episode of one of your favourite series here on the channel for today and you guys can count this down at home with us inside that comment section. So as we're progressing through the video, make sure you count down from 5 to 1 letting me know if you have done that easter egg or you have forgotten it. So all you got to do is just put 5 and yes if you have done that one or no if you have not. All the way from 5 to 1 and then submit your comments at the end of the video and I'll read through them and make sure I reply to some of you guys inside of there as well. And before we start this thing, let's absolutely smash a like button on this video right now as well. We'll aim for 2,115 likes. I know you guys can do it and considering this is one of the only channels left doing zombies, which upsets me so, so much, let's show the love inside the comments section as well with just a few love hearts or some pizza emojis is letting me know that you guys still want zombie content here on YouTube. And also feel free to let me know some Easter eggs that you may have forgotten that aren't already on the list. But with that said, let's jump straight into the first forgotten Easter egg on our list at number five. Number five. So coming in at number five on this list is an Easter egg from Black Ops 3. And probably the map on Black Ops 3 that everyone seems to hate the most Zetsubo no Shima. That's right, we've got multiple Easter eggs on Zetsubo no Shima, but this one definitely stands out for me to be one that everyone seems to forget. Now, I put two Easter eggs inside of this one just because I feel like they're quite connected. So the first one is going to be the half price perk Easter egg. That's right, you guys may or may not know this, but you can actually get perks for half the price on Zetsubo no Shima. And it's actually relatively simple to do this as well. All you've got to do is make sure you do all the challenges on your challenge board, and then you'll be able to unlock the lightning strikes into the map. Now, once the lightning starts coming down, make sure you've got a shield and get your shield shocked by the lightning. And now that you've got an electrified shield, you've just got to go over to a perk station and melee it. It's as simple as that. So you guys can see right now, I make my way over to the juggernaut machine. I melee the juggernaut machine. The machine becomes all electrified. And when I walk up to it, it says I can buy juggernaut for 1,250 points instead of 2,500 points, meaning that it's a half price perk. Really, really cool Easter egg. And I feel like it's definitely forgotten inside of Black Ops 3. The other one that I wanted to include inside of this one as well is the free drop easter egg. Now it's exactly the same method so just make sure you get the electrified shield and then make your way into where you first get the parts of the KT4 from the spider. Now make your way over to this panel, electrify the panel and send the cage down. Once the cage goes underground, you can then pull the cage back up again and it will give you a random drop. So you guys can see right now that I get a max ammo, but I've also had death machines in the past. I've had double points. I've had nukes, multiple, multiple drops that you can get from this thing. So it's a free drop Easter egg inside of Zetsubo no Shima. But there you go. That was number five with the half price perks and also free drops. But let's go and see what is that number four. Number four. So coming in at number four is an actual Easter egg that originated on Black Ops 2, but then came back for Black Ops 3 inside of Zombie Chronicles. And this Easter egg is on the map Origins. Yes, you guys seem to love Origins. It seems to be probably the favorited map in the entirety of the community, except for maybe Mob of the Dead. But there is one Easter egg on this map that seems to get overlooked and no one seems to do it. Now that is the 115 Easter egg. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? If you don't, listen up. So we have generator stations inside of the map, right? We've got generator one all the way up to generator six. Now on these generator stations, we've actually got numbers on the floor. And also you guys know that 115 is of course the magic number inside of zombies because of element 115. So all you've got to do to do this Easter egg is make your way over to generator one where we see the one symbol on the floor. Make your way up to it and hold down your action button. So either square on PlayStation, X on Xbox or F on PC. Now once you've done that, you'll hear a sound of like pressing a meteor over on Kino to Totem and then make your way over to the other one on the other side of the generator. You'll be able to do the exact same thing there as well. Now, what else do we have to do because of the 115 Easter egg? Of course, we've got to go to Generator 5 and do the exact same over there as well. To make your way over to Generator 5, go prone on the floor once again and hold the action button once again on the number 5. Now that you've entered 115, a song will start to play and you have completed the secret Easter egg on Origins. Did you guys know that one? I feel like so many people forget about that Easter egg for sure. But there you go. That is the third song Easter egg on Origins, which is on our list today at number four. But let's go and see what is at number three. Number three. So coming in at number three, we have got another Easter egg on Black Ops 3 Zombies. And I feel like this map is actually one of the most loved maps in the entire series again, which is Gorod Crow. Definitely a map 
map that JC Backfire loves a lot, but I love it a lot as well. And this Easter egg I have never done up until today. Now, I didn't forget about this Easter egg. I just didn't feel the need in doing it. But now I've actually completed it, I feel like I should totally go and do it again in my next stream or the next time I play Gorod Krovi. And that is the upgraded Dragon Strike Easter egg. That's right. If you guys never knew, you can actually upgrade the Dragon Strikes inside of Gorod Krovi. Now, to do this, of course, you've got to get yourself the normal Dragon Strike by doing the lockdown step over near Pack a Bunch. And once you've unlocked that, you've got to get yourself 50 kills with that Dragon Strike. And once you get those 50 kills, you'll hear the dragon roar and you'll know that you're on to the next step of this Easter egg. Now, this is where you've got a little bit of a tricky thing to do because you have to now walk around the map trying to find a flag. Now, this flag can only spawn in four locations and it's a red flag. Now, you guys can see that I found my flag inside of the supply area of the map and all you've got to do is put the dragon strike onto that flag. Once you've done that, you'll hear another roar and you can make your way back to the Pack-a-Punch area where you first did your lockdown step to actually unlock the first Dragon Strike. Now you'll be able to activate another lockdown sequence, but this time you need to make sure that you are getting kills with your Dragon Strike out of the map. As long as you get around 10 kills with this Dragon Strike, once the whole lockdown finishes, you'll be able to make your way back to where you got the original Dragon Strike from, and the upgraded Dragonite controller will be available for you guys to pick up, and that is your upgradable Dragon Strikes. Now make your way back to the map, and you'll be able to see how cool these actually are. Instead of them being green, they'll be fully red, you'll get more fireballs dropped from the dragons as well, and they do more damage to the zombies, meaning you can use these up to higher rounds as well, which is super, super cool. But there you go, that is the upgraded Dragon Strike on our list today at number 3. Once again, let me know inside the comments section how you are doing. Did you know about the Dexabo no Shima half price perks? Did you know about the Origins Easter Egg? Did you know about these Dragon Strikes? Put a yes or a no inside of the comments section right now. And let's go and see what is at number 2. Number 2. So coming in at number 2, we have got another loved map on Zombies inside of Black Ops 3, which is the Eisendrack. Now, this is an Easter egg that I definitely forgot about and also an Easter egg that I never, ever do because the reward isn't that great. And this is going to be the BRM Easter egg on the Eisendrack. Now, to do this, all you've got to do is turn on the zero gravity inside of the zero gravity room inside of the Eisendrack and then make your way over to the running walls where you'll now be able to run over these blue squares. Now, once you make your way over those blue squares and go over every single one, you'll notice that a brand new BRM unlock will unlock on the wall as a wall buy. You can pick it up, and that is it. That's the BRM Easter egg under Eisenjack. How weird is that Easter egg? It's just so, so pointless because the BRM is inside of the mystery box, and it's not actually that good of a weapon for the Eisendrack. I would totally understand if it was a hyped weapon back then, like maybe the PVSH or even the Tommy gun, but this just doesn't seem to be like a good weapon that anyone wanted, and I don't see anyone doing this Easter egg anymore. But definitely let me know inside the comment section right now, have you guys done the BRM Easter egg? Is it something that you always do, or is it something you've never done and you've definitely forgot about? Let me know inside the comment section, but let's go and see what is that right now at number one. Number one. So coming in at number one, we have got an Easter egg that I have only done twice. And this is because number one, it's a little bit pointless. Number two, it's quite frustrating to do. And number three, it's on a zombies map that I don't play that often. And that is on Nuketown Zombies on Black Ops 2. Now this is going to be the 115 Easter egg on Nuketown. You guys may be like, what, Nuketown has an Easter egg? Yeah, these are Easter egg songs. There's three Easter egg songs on Nuketown, and this one got discovered nearly a year after the release of Nuketown, which is absolutely crazy. So to do the 115 Easter egg song on Nuketown, it's exactly what you think. You gotta make the numbers 115 somehow inside of the map. Now, how are you gonna do this? Well, it all takes place on the Nuketown sign inside of the map. Now, every time you get a zombie kill, that number will drop down, and you need to keep on dropping it down, keep on getting zombie kills, until I get to the number 15. But where's the one coming from? Well, the one comes from the clock that's in the sky behind you. So that then spells one on the clock and one five on the actual Nuketown sign. Now, once you've actually done that and managed to get the one on the clock and one five on the sign itself, make your way over to the shed over in the corner of the map. Open the door, pick up the drop, and a song will start to play. And that is the official 115 Easter egg on Nuketown Zombies. Very, very crazy, very weird, but that is officially it right there. And let me know once again if you have done this Easter egg or you forgot about it. So let me see it inside the comment section. Five, four, three, two, one, and yes or no's next to those numbers. And I will also do that inside the comment section right now as well so you guys know what mine were too. 
But there you go. That is the top five forgotten Easter eggs inside of Call of Duty Zombies episode number three. And if you enjoyed the episode at all, make sure you absolutely smash that like button. We will be aiming for 2,115 likes on this video. And also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are brand new to become the latest member of the Pizza Club. And I'll see you guys in the next video or the next live stream. Thank you for watching and peace out.